Hey guys, in this uh, 3D Vista tutorial, I'm going to talk about um, how to name your hotspots, um, uh, especially the hotspots and not within the skin or the file naming of files that comes in other tutorials. Um, so I've downloaded this project from uh, the 3D Vista site. Um, basically, I've, I think it's quite an old project already. Um, so you can see that this has been done like how I sometimes see um, the work of the, the people like a 3D Vista training as well. Um, they have just a list of hotspots or they just call it whatever they want. And there's a few reasons, uh, well, basically uh, three reasons why you would want to um, name your hotspots uh, correctly in a practical way. Uh, one is just for yourself as an overview. So, um, that you know, like when I click on this, I don't know, this is the entry um, uh, thing. But also, okay, I'm, I'm clicking this thing, but am I right now clicking on this image or am I clicking on this text of the entry hall? Because this is, I know that this is two hotspots. So here and here, you can see there's two. So, um, for yourself. Secondly, um, when you're working together on a team, it is very important to have the same file naming convention, uh, to have a set of rules to, to do that, uh, so that everyone is using the same ways of doing these things. So yeah, it, it works more efficiently this way. And thirdly, lastly, is uh, the analytics. When you're uh, adding in the publish settings your um, analytics idea, um, you are going to look into Google. Um, and see all the hotspots and when they're all named like image, 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 image and polygon and it gets very difficult to like, well, see what's going on here in analytics. So let's get started. Um, disclaimer, this is how I do it myself and I change my file naming conventions uh, myself over time as well. Um, but this is how I currently am doing it. If you have different ways of doing it or something else, please let me know in the comments in the YouTube video um, because, you know, there's different ways of doing something the same way eventually. Um, so let's get into it. So first thing that I make a difference in is uh, having hotspots for navigation purposes and hotspots for um, pop-up information. So um, yeah, for navigation, I call them usually waypoints instead of hotspots. Um, I don't know. I found this myself very convenient. And in this case, I would say, okay, so we got the waypoints to go to the entry hall. Waypoints is everything, opening panoramas and opening 360 videos, basically. So here we've got the entry hall waypoints. So this is something I'm going to call uh, WP. And then I usually use this mark to say okay this is a waypoint to um, entry hall entry dash hall um, i like to work without spaces and use dashes and lower uh, things instead of this um, i just try to make this myself always uh, doing it because this is also how you're going to do it when you're using uh, file names with gpegs and b4s and stuff like that you cannot use spaces so try to make it yourself uh, doing it this way. So I call this WP uh, entry hall and then I might say okay so uh, because this is the text uh, I'm going to copy paste this whole thing um, and this one is the image so I'm going to call this exactly the same but then I say here uh, lowercase and then IMG and then here I call this TXT. So now I know it's the same waypoint to the entry hall. And this is the image version and this is the text version. If I would have only one uh, image, then I would probably not even bother putting the image. But because there's two now, I do. Um, sometimes what I do with uh, hover overs or something like that, I use a, a star or something like that. But okay, so this is the first one, so uh, second one basically also WP dash and then uh, living room and then this is I think the text but I'm not 100% sure let's double check yes WP living room image 
and so on for these others as well. Now, here we stumble up across something with uh, a pop-up image. So, um, this is a pop-up image and there's the polygon for the pop-up image and there is this little icon that says that there is something to click on. So basically they're both the same, providing the same information but they're different within the 3D Vista project. So, um, so what I would do myself is say, okay, you know, this is um, a hotspot, so HS, and I made, uh, yeah, so hotspot, and then I say, uh, mm, this is a pop-up image about a door, puerta. So I say, hotspot, puerta, and then I say, Okay, this is a polygon P, or maybe I say poly, something like this. I try to keep everything with three letters, but sometimes it's four. So, and then this, I would say, hotspot, puerta, and this is an image. I might also say, instead of hotspot, use a PU, like pop-up, but... I don't know, this is something I'm still playing around with myself as well. Um, but anyway, the, the most important thing is that for me is to make a difference between waypoints and the hotspots, pop-ups. Uh, so basically then also doing the same for this. Uh, this one has only the, the polygon, so there's no um, image here, which is a bit weird because I would uh, encourage you uh, creators to keep the consistency in the project but I'm not going to blame them. <laughs> um, I'm very happy with this project to use this in the tutorials. Um, so I'm going to call this WP. And this is basically... Uh, oh no, not WP, sorry. Uh, elevator is main entry to Casa Cascada. Um, basically, they're using this only as a tooltip to give you information. But, because it's information, it's not for navigation, I'm going to call this hotspot and then elevator. Elevator. Um, um, yeah, so you could say, okay, you know what, I'm going to keep the consistency in there, I'm going to call this uh, a poly. And that's probably better, to keep the consistency as much as possible there. Um, so that's how I would do uh, naming of hotspots. Um, we can go more in depth. Um, so you have the polygons, you also have the text, so txt, and then you have image. So sometimes uh, when I make, um, in this case, there's only image hotspots, so I keep everything called uh, hotspot. It would actually make more sense to uh, when I have an image hotspot, sometimes instead of hotspot, I say I image hotspot and then blah 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 the name of what it is. And with video hotspots, um, so I'm just putting something in here which is totally not making sense, but doesn't matter. I say uh, a video hotspot and then this thing. So, this way I see in the analytics, I see, okay, this is an image hotspot, a video hotspot, and this is a waypoint. Um, and, yeah, and, and this helps me to organize myself a lot. Um, another few things that you can know about this is that you can also organize um, stuff as, like, the hotspots. You can drag them up. So you have a bit of more of an overview of like, okay, let's start maybe with the, navig the the waypoints and then the hotspots or let's start with the hotspots. But, you know, to change the order, the hierarchy, it doesn't really matter for the preview in the project, but it's just to like work for yourself and keep everything as organized as possible there. Um, so that's it. Uh, like and subscribe on this video and uh, see you in the next video.